What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser 3. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the ultimate perfect weapon for Dion. So, let's jump into it, shall we? And the weapon we are going to be using is the Diamantis. Why? Because its effect increases your defense and increases damage dealt according to defense. This is broken okay and when i say broken i mean literally it's it's stupid the damage modifier is so high on this it is crazy how overpowered this weapon is so let's go ahead and do it shall we first of all we are going to drop a grand organ in this is what we are going to be using for our traits as well we are going to use lone wolf spirit mana heat and super cooling the reason we're actually using um, Super Cooling and Mana Heat this time around is because that damage boost I was just telling you about from the effect actually scales with these as well. So it is ridiculously over the top. The Lone Wolf Spirit is just because I'm not going to control Dion. I'm just going to let the AI do it. So he's just going to generate tons and tons of AP for me. So that is the traits that we are using. Now we just have to actually unlock everything. So here's the thing, right? We need a lot of dragon materials for this weapon, which actually really, really sucks for us. But not only that, we also need to link morph the mark of aggression. We want to get rid of that, okay? Now we are going to get a ton of critical uh, chance from, you know, things like buffs and stuff like that. So we're not actually going to go critical rate up for this weapon. Instead, we're going to enhance critical. The reason being is he's already going to do a massive amount of damage. So we might as well further boost that damage even more with another multiplier. Now, this is where things get annoying, okay? We desperately need effect spread here for the dragon materials. What I would strongly suggest doing is create a dark glittering oval. But during the creation process, okay, this normally only has two elements. When you create this, you want to use a secret key with the effect of adding a new element. So if we see right here, added element fire, ice, bolt, and air. Create a dark oval with one of those effects. This is just going to make it much easier to unlock some of the other things. Now, right there, I obviously couldn't do it because it does not have water on. That's perfectly fine. We are going to drop another ingot in there, though, just for a little bit more attack because it's not going to waste anything. And then likewise, down here, we're actually going to ignore that as well. We're going to wait until the item rebuilding for that stage. What we're going to do now is we are going to use a secret key. So normally for weapons, you could use quantity up hour to get more grand organs in there, or you can increase the, uh, the actual stat like speed, defense, and attack by 50 by using the XXL, or you can increase HP by 100. So what we're going to do is we are going to go for an attack XXL increase simply due to the fact it's ridiculously overpowered and I also have a super rare ore key, which means I do also get an extra attack and speed increase from the recipe level on the left hand side there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, as you can see, we already have pretty decent stats. So what we're going to do right now is just dump all our remaining quantity in using the grand organs. Okay, so with that, we've got our traits and we've also done our stats on here. So we're going to go ahead and finish the weapon off. Once the weapon is finished, we are going to go and rebuild it. The reason we're going to rebuild it is so we can actually unlock the final traits. So what we need to do now is we need to unlock everything. So we're just going to filter by the element that we need. And then we're going to scroll down. We want to make sure that we only use the correct amount so right here we need five ice so we're going to use literally just five the reason being is we want to keep the weapon level as low as possible like here we only need six wind for the final critical buff but if you look at the level in the top left hand corner it says 61 if we were to use this wolf beast blade if we use this one however that still gives us the skill it's only level 58 that is why we're going to use that. We just want to do this by going through as slowly as possible. 
Now, right here, we could use an effect spread dragon material again. However, I don't actually have one with the water element, so we can't do that. Instead, we're just going to use a fire six skill here. Uh, hopefully, I've got some. Yep, I can just use a dragon eye. That's fine. Again, we want to use just the right amount to keep the weapon level as low as we possibly can. So right here, we only need four. So likewise, we're just going to use four again. Remember, weapon level, low, important. So right here, we do need quite a few though on this dragon material. So we are going to sort and we're going to use a dark glittering oval just to spread us all the way down. So right now, we've got all of the abilities, okay? We just need to double check, make sure everything is learned, which it is brilliant. So now we've got all the abilities. We have our super trait. Uh, sorry, we have our traits. Now it's time to get our super trait. So for this, we are limited to just dragon materials, which does make this incredibly, incredibly difficult to actually get the super traits for. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the super trait that I want to use here. Getting Ruxasha on a dragon material is difficult, like extremely, extremely difficult. I'm also not going to manually control Dion, so I can't use Ultra Skill. So we are going to have to settle with Berserker's Spirit. Ideally, though, you would use Ruxasha to greatly increase the damage. Berserker's Spirit will just lower our HP by 100, and it will give us 125 extra attack. So we're going to go ahead and drop that as well. And then we're going to finish the synthesis off. So once again, we are using Lone Wolf Spirit, Mana Heat and Super Cooling. And then we're going to go ahead and use Berserker's Spirit for the Super Trait. Look at the HP and the attack here. Now, yes, that does put us in minus HP value. That's fine. He's still next to unkillable anyway with the armor and accessories that we have on him, let alone once he gets buffed by other items as well. So now that we have made the item, it is time to reinforce it. And this is where we are going to add two more effects to it. The effects that we are going to add is going to be Presto for even more damage. This basically gives us extra magic damage and the damage will increase based on current AP. We're always going to be at full AP. So that's why we don't really need to worry about that. And then we're also going to use a War Powder because of the fact of war song the reason we want war song is it increases critical rate remember we just boosted his critical damage by 40 percent on the weapon so getting the extra critical rate is super super important here now we already had two effects on the weapon we've just added two more which means we cannot add any more so what we're going to do now is simply focus on the stats you can either focus on hp attack defense or speed it is entirely up to you now if you've watched some of my other weapon guides you'll know i'm going to choose the dragon egg why because it's an all-around increase and it's only about 10 attack lower than the highest attack item so that is what we are going to go with so we're going to confirm that choose the traits one last time and as you can see right there the final weapon will have 30 well minus 30 hp a massive 468 attack 208 defense and 164 speed this is going to pair amazingly amazingly well with the omen war armor item that i uh, made a video for previously which if you haven't checked out you totally should so there we have it guys that is how you create the ultimate weapon for dion along with the best traits and uh, super traits to use for it Still though, I do hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope it has helped. If it has, then please be sure to smash that like button and of course, drop a comment down below. Let me know the first thing you are going to bash on the head with that weapon. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have tons and tons of Rise of Free guides coming for you guys, which you will absolutely not want to miss. As always though, everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.